What is the biggest enjoyment that you get out of being a captain? I guess mine is being able just to um, be like a middleman um, between the coaches and the players. Um, because a lot of younger kids, more often than not, when a coach gets on them, they go into a shell, kind of freak out, don't really know how to handle it. Um, but I enjoy just taking him to the side and being like, listen, this is what he was trying to say. He's not mad at you, relax, it's okay, it's not the end of the world. Um, and just being that, that guy for them that communicate with them from the coaches and also if they need something communicated to the coaches, I can um, help with that as well. So I enjoy doing that. It's also, it's so rewarding um, knowing that you're there to push other people and when you see other people doing better, it's just, it's one of the best feelings in the world. Not only you, but you're getting the whole team involved and getting everyone together. It's just, it's such a pleasure seeing um, the team united and being able to be a part of that is just one of the best things. We talked about your favorite part. What's the most challenging part of being a captain? I would just say for our team, the fact that we are mostly sophomores and freshmen, um, it's not a challenge, but knowing that everyone is, for the most part, <coughs> really close to my same age, that can be, for other teams, maybe a struggle, but I think we've handled it really well, and I think all of the girls are really supportive, knowing that whatever decisions come are for our team. Yeah, our challenge is that we have six freshmen because then we have only two seniors and one junior. So they outnumber us, but it's <laughs> still great. And <laughs> they're amazing freshmen, and I wouldn't ask for another team. I think my biggest challenge is that I'm a pretty laid back guy. <laughs> um, and sometimes I feel like the guys on the team take that for granted a little bit when I try to get on them a little bit. Um, but other than that, I mean, the th most they all know that off the field, I'm, I'm your best friend. I'll do whatever you want for you. Uh, on the field, like when it's time to perform, we need to do that. So I guess that's just my biggest challenge. You win some games, you lose some games. What is the, what do you try to do when you lose games as a captain? How do you kind of like just rally the team around and just move forward from that? Our coach always says, okay, um, we lost, but then it's kind of a blessing in disguise because now we know how to play against them and what's coming next and we know more about the players, we know more about ourselves and we know what we have to improve and that's the biggest thing. If we can improve in that match then we can improve in any of them. Well in baseball there's 56 games so <laughs> we uh, play a lot of games yeah, and you have the one. conference tournament too so I'm pretty sure you're gonna lose <coughs> some games. So um, kind of like what they were saying just we just go back and look at what we did wrong and, um, just try to go get on the next day. Like, if you win two out of three games on the weekend in baseball, that's, that's the first place to do it. So, track's a little different. Yeah, um, you know, like bit. racing, you get one shot kind of at the meet, and if you mess up, you know, like, it's probably not going to be your best. But um, it's just really important to remind the girls that not every time is going to be your best, and uh, we have great potential to win in conference, so it's important to keep pushing at practice, and consistent, consistency eventually brings really great results. So it's just important to remind them that they know what they're doing, they've done it well in the past, and they can do it, so just keep on working hard. Right, here's a big question for all of you. What's it like to be a captain for Elon, for an Elon Phoenix athletic team? I'm only a sophomore, but I think it's really cool. I mean, throughout high school, and. I mean, just watching like college and professional teams when I was younger, the captain's always someone that I've looked up to, and that role in general, just what the captain is fulfilling as a role model on and off the field. I think being a captain in college is a lot different than just high school or middle school, but um, it's a lot of responsibility, and I think that it's super rewarding. I think that being representing for Elon is huge, and it means a lot knowing that my team thought of me as someone that could fill that role at Elon. For me the same, it's a great honor and it's so rewarding and knowing also that we have all the Elon staff and Elon Athletics behind us is amazing. We know that we always have Dave, we always have Dan, everyone behind us and no matter if we win or lose, they're always there. So. Obviously your team and your coaches identified you as captains as well as your co-captains on your individual teams. <laughs> How can you identify a captain? What are the telling traits that you can see that this person needs should be a captain for this team? I think that probably some big signs are, I think the easiest one to pick out is leadership. Who's, who's the vocal one? Who's staying after practice and who's coming before practice? That's probably the easiest thing to tell. I think um, you kind of have to get along with everyone. You don't have to be everyone's best friend, but you have to be very like personable and even if it's someone's not your best friend, you still have to be friendly with them and 
I mean, on our team, we're really lucky. We're all good friends, but I think that you have to know how to talk to everyone and know that people are going to come talk to you. They trust you. Um, I would say leading by example. Um, you don't always have to be the most vocal kid, um, but I do agree with being vocal and communicating, like they were saying. But just doing the right things on the field, off field, working hard, um, basically leading by example is, is what it's doing. Also, I think um, it's important to see somebody who has a delicate balance between talking to coaches and talking to the athletes. Um, you know, it's really important to kind of like be the midway, like you guys said before. But um, also, you know, staying late and being positive about everything. You know, like sometimes it's not going to go your way, but they, you know, captains are generally positive and pushing you to do the best that you can. So I think it's really important to kind of look for somebody who's pushing other people to be the best that they can. Finally. What makes you a good captain? I know we want to be humble, but <laughs> what are some of the qualities that you see in yourself that make you a good captain? I guess just like my laid back personality, um, because I can be there and, and talk to you and, and not have to yell and scream at you to get you to do something like some captains have to do. Um, but if you're slacking off, yeah, then I'm going to get on you a little bit. Um, but I think just my balance between, like she was saying, kind of just being like a, a friend as well as a captain. Um, I guess helps me and makes me a good captain. Since we're such a small team, we're all best friends and the balance, as Casey said, it's so important and also just um, being there for them all the time, it's, I think it's a big thing and supporting each other even if we lose, if you're mad at someone because they lost, you know, eventually it's, it's a team sport so it doesn't matter if one lost, it matters if we all lost or if we all won, so being there for each other is very big. So what do you think? What makes you a good captain? I think for me it's the passion behind it. I love my team. I love what we do and every second in practice I will be the first person to stay after or stay later with someone at practice and I think that that's something that you can't teach. It just kind of has to come from within and I like, love my teammates so much and I know we have so much potential so I think that's part of the reason too. I think, uh, I guess like my positivity, you know, I'm, I'm not very serious, but I can be serious. So, uh, you know, like kind of lightening up the mood um, when people aren't doing well is probably one of my best uh, captain <laughs> traits, you know, kind of just joking around, you know, and letting them know that it's going to be all right and that they can do better than that and they know that. And uh, kind of just that, like, like he mentioned, kind of laid back. So, like, if I'm disappointed, you know, like they're going to know without me having to even say anything. So I think that's pretty much at the end of the day, what do we think about being captain? Is it a good feeling inside? Yes. Yeah. 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 Very yeah, rewarding. Definitely. Yeah. Definitely good. Yeah. Great.